the winning team that has two points will be receiving two points and of course the losing team that has the one point will be receiving one point as well so it's that simple for them to reach to the playoffs and now we are heading on to quickly on to the drafting <laughs> phase. I'm actually quite surprised because we already have the bans and the picks as well. So not much room for us to talk about this one mischievous. But as you can see in here on to the blue side, you can see Team X. And on the right side, that is Mahadewa. So a very interesting bans in here, the Heino and a lot of support bans coming from the side of Mahadewa as well. On the right side, you can see the Zanfei, Zwangzi, Yaria, Dolia, I mean everything. And Dolia is actually one of the top uh, heroes that have been uh, banned, either banned or picked from yesterday from the game. Yes, definitely. And of course, to our live stream viewers who watched us from yesterday, uh, it's actually a fact check that Dolia has a 100% pick rate and 100% ban rate for this tournament. As of the moment, the same goes with Lam with 87% of the ban rate. So that gives a statement that these two heroes cannot be a favorable force for them when <laughs> they enter the Land of Gorge. You don't want them to be doing that combination or duo in one team together or else it's going to be an unlimited skill coming from the lamb. But of course, these are prof professional teams and they definitely know what they are uh, doing. And uh, yeah, Welcome just so you know from yesterday, kids. if uh, we're going to give a recap in here, we already seconds. have teams MSG from Malaysia oh, and Kagendra that? moving forward to the play of stage. But let's move on and on to Group B. Again, this is Mahadewa from uh, Indonesia and Team X from the Philippines. Let's get it on. Yes, let's get it on as we enter game number one. So I'm very much excited on how we are going to see coming from the performance of Team X because yesterday coming from Team Philippines, they didn't really much scale off coming from the Digital Devil. So now this is another Filipino team that is competing in our tournament. So I'm really much rooting forward. Be not bad here, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. to, on how they'll be able to uplift their power. Yes, that is... That is so true. I mean, uh, there's uh, what at least one more team that is a light of hope uh, for the Philippines. But as you can see in here, early game time, not much action. But actually coming from the side of Team X, Gan and Mo, as well as uh, Impressive, actually rotating towards the jungle camp of Mahadeo. Even though there's the jungle sprite protection, doesn't matter. For as long as we are able to get some of the camps, at least that will stop or slow down the farming of Ashori. Yeah, they could more. Yeah, okay. Saya, but here in the bottom side of the map, we're going to see a 2v1 situation. Any uh, being low here, but now is being followed by followed up by his team by, by Fidel. So right now we are seeing a great capability of a gank potential coming from the bottom of the thing. Seeing as well from the uh, talent uh, coming from the team yesterday, they are really much targeting here our, our heroes coming from the farm lane. Mm -hmm. That is so true, but again, I just uh, noticed it's, it is actually Ayep on the Gooey Goozy. Yesterday, we saw a lot of really good Gooey Goozy plays coming from Team Kagendra ID. I wonder if it's going to be the same as Mahadewa ID, representative again from Indonesia. That's going to be going for some great plays. But meanwhile, oh. we're seeing something, okay? I think there was an attempt on uh, Ofcom from the top side. Charlotte, um, you know, uh, looking for trying to... Oh, a go away from a potential ga gang coming from the butterfly, but we're not seeing that right now. In the meantime, it, it's a pretty chill. I mean, lots of attempts from both teams right now to go for gangs, but everyone's just being cautious from their position in the map. Mm -hmm. Speaking of being cautious, of course, these players are considered as pro professional teams, so they have that discipline, fortitude, wherein they know the shot call whenever they're going to proceed with a team fight because it's still early for the four minute mark that we are having. Because the four minute mark, commonly, those are the times that we see some team fight engagement, and of course, the clashes coming from the bottom side, or may it be even in the top side by sticking right now. We're having here a 1v1 situation against Maggie and and the members coming from the side of Matahewa. Let's see. Of, okay, I, I thought they were going to push it, but then again, that's some poking damage coming from the uh, top side lane. Yes, this is gonna be like a mano a mano kind of <laughs> gameplay on the top side with Migi and Mamon on uh, the on that lane. But hold oh! on, because that is the first blood. Going 
going on to the hands of the D Renji. D Renji actually one of the one of the top picks from yesterday as well. Mm -hmm. And him getting a kill right off the bat early game time. That is good news back for Team X. Yes, definitely there. And of course, team from there. Now um, we can definitely say that Team X is really much considering their positioning and placement around the map. But here if we're going back into the ball game, this will be a possible team fight in the bottom side of the map. Seeing that my members coming from Team X are being less aggressive, entering the jungle zone of Team Adahewa. And right now, this will be a 2v1 situation, but oh, the damage output concrete coming from Mahadewa is really much oh, high. And of course, this will be a counter initiative coming from the one of the members from Adahewa. Oh, will that be a final blow? No, they will still back away, but oh, another one oh, for Team Madahewa. That is so true. Fever Barrage will just connect. Really great setups coming from Ayep. There were some attempts coming from Dragon on the Ganon Mo as well. He was about to go for that those skills, but oh, there we see another casualty. Actually, I uh, I think that was like uh, like Migi actually gonna go back onto the lane, but no mid lane. But if I will fall down onto the hands of the Prince of Land Lane. Oh my god, it's not looking good yeah. for the side of Team X, but with the outcan kill, we can see here Charlotte was able to stay secure and then the turn coming from the top side. So going back here, it's really much crucial to secure those objectives early on in the game because you can see here the power spike potential coming from the side of Team X. But right now, we, we are seeing very aggressive plays coming from the side of Team X. This will be a 3v1 situation coming from the mid side. Okay, they're trying to pull away. Coming from the other members coming from, coming from the side of Team X. Will this be a secure kill coming from the side of them? But Team Matahewa with the discipline plays. Oh, impressive with that stun loans. And of course, that will be pushing back. The team member is coming from the side of Team Mahadeva. Mm -hmm. And we gotta be careful. Hold, hold. Hang on oh, though, oh, because there's a skirmish happening. Unfortunately, Aji Zeke will fall down. And now that Charlotte already has taken down the top turret, uh, first tower turret on the top side, he will be able to freely roam around, around the map and oh, join the team fight. Yes. Meanwhile, there's already a counter objective coming from Team X, just balancing out uh, the turret takes or the tower takes. Uh, up against Mahadewa, but... Oh, but we're seeing here a possible team fight engaged by coming from the side of Team Mahadewa and trying to invade the jungle from the side of Team X. But yeah, I think they're trying to push him them away to secure their land here. But then again, they're having the difficult place to very much not engage because they have the Overlord box here. So that means they can really much push wherever lanes that they may choose. But, but they need to be careful once they lose this opportunity. Make this, team X may have to uh, may have the upper advantage to turn things around. Mm -hmm. And as you can see in here, even yeah. though we're already at the mid game stage, there's already the tower pushes, still oh, pretty fine. balanced. Even though this yeah. is just a 1k gold lead mm -hmm. in favor of Mahadewa, you know, we we cannot say say still that okay, one is already at the upper advantage because um it, it's pretty equal at the moment. And just a little bit of background between these two teams, they have played an international version of the game before, and it's pretty nice oh. to see actually very familiar names uh, between these two teams, Naman and as well as Migi as well, as well oh. as Impressive. But oh, mid lane? Oh, he's being here, mid lane, that would be a one man down from the side of Team Mahadewa. And as possible, another engagement with the stun blows coming from the side of Team X. But then again, they will be trying to back away and of course progress and secure that objective coming from the side of the middle lane. Will they try to defend and first prioritize the deletion or killing here the minion waves that we have right now? But oh! No minion waves come from the side of Team Ahadewa and that will be an uncontested wow. number turret from Team X. This is a lovely multitasking coming from the side of Team X. Top side, uh, top tower as well as the mid tower. Oh, that is going to create a lot of space. Oh, and there we go. Oh my god. We can see here another team fight engagement coming from the side of Team X and was able to secure a pickup against Ayep. But then again, coming from the bottom lane, we can see here that the Inventor Turn has already been destroyed in favor for the side of Team Mahadeva. But oh, we're seeing a possible another pickup trying to be secured here by Team X. Two has been done, Ooh, wow. but they're very far away. So, discipline play is coming from the side of Team X. 
Impressive really does know how to create the space that is very much needed for D-Rendy to actually get the tower pushes that he needs. And I think Team X, they, they have been playing a lot of Honor of Kings tournaments, to be honest, from here and there. They have been visiting different country events. So they have a lot of experience. So I think this is, uh, you know, well experienced for them to be participating in, in uh, Kings of Honor Ground Asia as well. Yes, definitely. And of course, experience doesn't really much um, always say that if you're really good in the game, then you have the talent to really much win possible game matches. But here, oh, coming from the side of Team X, we are able to secure that Overlord. So let's see on how Team X will be able to capitalize on that. Lovely push on the bottom part of the map right now. Marco Polo doing a great job on doing that cross map play as well up top, but that is very dangerous. He's all alone. But meantime, oh, I found turret. Let's see the action. Oh, yes, see the action here. It comes to the side of Team X. Two members being stunned from the side of Team Mahadewa. But here we see a killing speed coming from the side of Team Mahadewa as they take down Dagon. But that will be another one. Another team member down no, coming from the side oh, of Team no. X. And that will be a triple kill. Will this be a triple map page? Oh my god. The member here of Extorcy is really much killing it for their team. Although Marco Polo dying on that one, still a well paid uh, game play from that particular skirmish because they took down four members on the side of Team X. And now, Butterfly can do anything alone but to, you know, just get the farm that he needs and maybe they catch up. Anyway, the gold lead is not that far, it's just a few gold, hundreds of gold. But let's take a look back on a quick replay that we have a while ago. So there goes the double kill, and here, no survival for uh, the Atta. Actually, if we're going to see it in terms of positioning coming from the best team, they're really much pushing it in aggressive, yet play saving type of approach. But right now, before we uh, say anything else, a team X is trying to prioritize the Overlord while the team Mahadewa is prioritizing Ice our Tyrant. So I think these are separate objectives that, that I think time to be secured by two of our teams. But then again, will the Overlord, the Vanguard, will be able to power that? Or, oi! But, but you see here, Team X grinds the contestion coming from the Tyrant and was able to secure two things from their side of Team, but team Mahadewa. There we go, coming from the Shadow Overlord, marching down to the top side. Team X trying to progress forward here, coming from the mid line. But then again, they need to be careful with the Overlord Vanguard here, still marching in down. But here, one, one man down from the side of Team Mahadewa as they try to get just one more. And then the a double kill coming from the side of Ajax. And that chase was very remarkable. But then again, they need to still be, be careful as some of the team members are trying to have a split push. Worth the chase coming from the butterfly. Even though there is a shadow vanguard walking towards the top side part of the map, they want to push onto the middle lane. But they gotta be careful because the rest of the members of Mahadewa are already going back into the game. They need to cool it down, but still pretty balanced. 8 8 and 35k. What a game is this? Well, it's considered well seen from the for, um, for, uh, the, the performance of our teams yesterday, we always saw that the, um, the time of 10 minutes is always the power spike coming from either both sides of the team. And right now, I can definitely say that Team X is really much getting that power spike and of course capitalizing that the, the lead that they had coming from their encounterment from the enemy invading the enemy jungle. So there is this. Um, opportunity for them to capitalize and of course secure the middle interpreter turn but then again as I said a while ago they have this aggressive place oh but they are really much playing it safe but right now we are seeing here a 1v1 situation coming from the side of Team Mahadeva and there we go ladies and gentlemen Dragon will be securing that kill for their side of the team one member down on the side of Mahadewa. No IF that will create the place that very much uh, will be needed by Mahadewa. But there's the push. At least the pressure coming from Prince of Landling onto the top side. Meanwhile, our colleagues to go back away onto the base to just, you know, to the defense that's very much needed. But this is going to be tricky. I mean, it hurts a lot. All this damage coming from Dragon as well as Impressive ready. Even though Impressive as a mozzie is a support, still going to be annoying in terms of space creation, you know, the stun connecting and Sorry, all that dear. but mm, uh, yeah he's just gonna be <laughs> yeah he's just gonna be distracting the rest of the members of team x but you know it doesn't make sense for team x anyway to just 
uh, you know, stand onto the middle lane, just roam around. It will just give Mahadewa the time to actually go for that waiting time, waiting game that they very much did. And Team X could might be punished if they do so. But meanwhile, there's a chase on the bottom lane part of the map. Speaking of the chase, we are seeing here three members chasing down the one member coming from the side of Team Mahadewa. But will oh with the upcap again we can see here Team X was able to scare a kill. But Mammon not will this be a TV5 situation? But the other members coming from the side of Team Mahadewa follow up damage and of course using all of their resources to push them back into the base and right now we can see here uh, the split push that is being, being done Your by AJ so with that being split push all of their efforts was wasted as the bottom side with the side oh, of no. uh, will be going down but then again <gasps> with that immortality fucking in coming from the side of Team X but it will not be enough for his survivability as they will be uh, getting that kill Impressive is actually super annoying in here as a mozzie. Every stunts will connect oh. and just creating that space. They're not even done. They're gonna go for the push. Ui Guzi is gonna fall down once more. There is so much death on this Ui Guzi. 056 on his uh on his KDA right now, and this is not what you want. Yes, your support, but it doesn't mean you have to die all over again. <laughs> because you as a Gooey Guzi, you very much needed to create that setup in order for the Charlotte, the Princess Frost, and the rest of the members of Team Mahadewa to make the play that they need, but that didn't happen. Definitely, and of course, considering the positions that they have, yeah, here seeing that Team X is losing one of the members, but Team Mahadeva is trying to force them back to back away coming from their high ground. But then again, but all of the team members coming from the side of Team Mahadeva are now in low in HP. One more strike, and most of them can be taken down. But then again, with that push, Team X has the opportunity to take the fire. That is so true, and this is just not any normal tyrant. This is the Shadow Tyrant that's gonna give them even more great buffs. There's a Primal Bond debuff right now. Let's see if they will actually take the opportunity. It's gonna be dangerous. Actuarity is actually alive in here. Gonna go for that mission. He knows where they are, and I think it's not a good time to actually go for the Shadow Overlord. Definitely not a good time, but here we can see uh, some of the members coming from the side of the X trying to push away some of the members here from, from the side of the Mahadeva, but here we go, the engagement has already been initiated. Most of the utilities are now being used, but right now, members coming from the Mahadeva, especially here coming from the side of AF is very low, but that will be uh, will be forcing them to back away. And oh, oh speaking of backing away, they are trying to get this Overlord. Yeah, and there is a debuff available. Gonna be dangerous. It could just be... Uh, it's probably just a base because as you can see, Prince of Landling is actually roaming around the map right now just distracting Team X. That is a good strategy to actually cut off lanes and just scare the rest of the members of Team X. But there is a lead right now on the side of Team X, but they want to somehow play it safe. Definitely, and of course, considering the large chunk of the minion waves that is coming from the side of Team X on the upper and lower part of the map, Team Mahadewa really needs to be careful here and not to be keeping we are wiped out. But here we can see Adix Mr. one member down from the side of Team Mahadewa. Will this be a great opportunity for them to engage with the high ground or deep dive coming from the side members of Team Mahadewa? But oh, with a flash in, and we go. We can see here two members down coming from the side of Team Mahadewa. That, that is not looking good and this is I mean all now all of the high ground towers oh, no. are down oh, oh, and tower lock. Look at this flick I'm very impressive and Yes very impressive but then we just be a boy winning scenario coming from the side of Team X and yes surprisingly tower lock being secured here by Team X as they win our game number one Definitely representatives coming from the Philippines are looking for that revenge for Team Digital Devils from yesterday. What a, a really nice play. I mean, we saw like from early game time up until the mid game time, we saw like a pretty balance, uh, you know, in terms of kills, in terms of old, in terms of tower pushes. But the things changed when, you know, when the, the tower pushes, I mean, the multitasking coming from the side of Team X happened on the top side and the bottom part of the map. And I think the priority of them and going and going for tourists really paid off. Mm -hmm, definitely there. And of course, 
acknowledging the discipline plays here coming from the side of Team X that despite they see an opportunity to engage into a team fight, they rather not push it in the sense that they are being aggressive. But right now, um, coming from the scenario that we've seen earlier, that they are mind mind having a mind game manipulation coming from that side of Team Hadewa. And in terms of the itemization, we can believe that Team X has already fulfilled their um, core key items coming from their side of Team Hadewa having a, a difficult time from the C team of Team Mahadewa wherein we got a little bit of a damage potential coming from the side of Memon but then again with those upscaling skills coming from the side of Team X unfortunately they were not able to scale up for their late potential. Hey, I would actually call up on this I actually on this game he wasn't able to create those setup that is very much needed as a gooey goozy. Meanwhile, impressive. Hmm, he is actually the MVP from this game. 1114. Really annoying stuns coming from him. And it's short cooldown we're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, there was no chance for IF to create uh, the setups that he, he very much needed. Fatal XZ is already had uh, or also had a hard time. Even Enix, uh, Enix on the Marco Polo had a hard time as well. So, I mean, this was actually one of the weakness of Marco Polo. You know, the uh, Shangguan Dakiao actually were the top dance and pick from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, not so sure. I mean, I would love to see another Shangguan play in here, to be honest. And uh, Dakiao is actually working on her utilities really well. Definitely, and of course, I would lo definitely love to see another um, lamp play coming from either both sides of the team because, again, his flexibility when it comes to rotation and, of course, securing those back end kills can really much be a dangerous situation coming from the competing team or whoever is going to fight against lamp. But again, um, with that being said, they need to really much take care of lamp. Early or earlier part of the game because again if lamb didn't scale off coming from the before the four minute mark it's going to be difficult to get that damage outburst coming from the, his skills lovely ban in here the Haina, of course we know gonna be annoying in terms of damage or maybe even the sustain gooey goozy which they have used a while ago although it wasn't successful they don't want to give that away you saw how impressive play a support a while ago he was a former jungle uh, he is actually a main jungle in uh, ranked games but uh if if you have a support who actually knows how to rotate as a jungle you really know on how to support your jungle so i think this is a really effective one and you don't want to give away that gooey goozy onto the hands of impressive but i told you i had a shang one we're seeing in the pics right now miss chavis <laughs> oh. oh okay but right now seeing from the first three compositions coming from the both side of the team I think I ha I'm having a good feeling coming from the side of Team Hadewa but like, because again when it comes to drafting, when it comes to your hero pool, there is like the chances for, for you for, for winning that round but then again it actually it exactly boils down on how you'll be able to play the execution part but because again it's going to be challenging coming from the side of Team Hadewa if they are able to execute this properly against Team X composition when it comes to crowd control manipulation and of course the placements around the map that is so true and they also heard us I mean uh, the Dakiao in here let's see how they're I mean Dakiao is very mm -hmm team fight base kind of hero so we'll see how team x actually have the perfect co not so per i mean nobody's perfect okay <laughs> <Nobody>. <laughs> that coordination that is very much needed into having a dakiao but we'll see about that likewise again so far on the first few peaks of team mahadewa in here you really don't want to give the changwon the uh, kills that she very much didn't but she can be very aggressive we don't know yet what is the farm laner that Mahadewa or rather team X is gonna pick but mm -hmm. it I, I'm pretty sure it you know it's gonna be risky if they pick something uh, that is not so mobile again mm -hmm. uh, Shangguan very mobile hero uh, real good in terms of assassination so we'll mm -hmm. see about that on what uh, is going to be the farm laner that team X is gonna pick well, speaking of farm lamer, I'm very much excited if they're going to see uh, uh, Lamban in one of their lineup right now. Because coming from yesterday, really much, um, I forgot, I just forgot whose team was really much powering it up with Lamban. But again, uh -huh. it was uh, um, those top priorities, just doing his work in securing those um, inhibitors coming from the bottom side, going to the middle, and of course going to the top side of the map. 
So it comes down to the rotation, and of course, those um knowing Lamban, he has really much ve- that very long range that he can really much help in securing those objectives. Um, just doing by himself actually. Mm-hmm. That is so true. But let's look at this one. Really tanky frontline. Uh, with the Mayin getting picked on the side of Mahadewa, the Ranji really got in terms of uh, late game as well. But a lot of mobility in here on the side of uh, Team X. We saw that Pei, we saw the Sankhi as well. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a lot of quick rotations coming from Team X. So both of the teams, I mean, I don't see uh, any like... Um, uh, like just basing on a draft alone, we mm-hmm. can say okay, this draft is better than the other because they definitely have different plans on what they want to do in this game too. So, uh, but here, what do you think about the uh, draft that we just saw, Mischievous? Actually, seeing from the compete draft from the both sides of the team is that it's very much you know um, having that equal balance oh, from, from the damage that they can give, and of course, but in terms of just like you said, based on. Uh, the draft that we had right now mobility wise team x is really much mobile enough to really much go fast and go kill and go savage uh, and, 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 and entering the enemy jungle here as you can see here um, the members come from team x are now trying to invade yeah that is so true even though the jungle sprite is there doesn't matter because um Actually, they're pretty much multitasking in here. Top side of the jungle, bottom part of the jungle as well. Mahadewa is going to have, hard, have a hard time if they don't actually go for the cross-map play uh, the soonest as possible. But right now, same situation that we are seeing here. Uh, this is like the calm before the storm where in Team Mahadewa trying to sense if they're going to what's going to be their strategy right now because again they have different um, hero pools right now so the execution part will be really much tricky because again it's going bo- it's going to boil down on how they read the uh, positioning coming from either both sides of the team but right now Team X is having a little bit of a skirmish here in the bottom, bottom lane as our team member here um, Toshi is now very pretty low but again team member is trying to come from the side with Team Mahadewa trying oh, to dive in oh no, all yeah, the way too deep coming from the side of Team X and that will be the first oh, no. loss coming from the side of Team X and Zuye will get it, and of course, one sources of damage from the side of Team X. I mean, I don't know what happened to Ayep on that one. He should have seen that coming because it was pretty clear in to the map side, on to the bottom part of the map side of Team X. The members of their team are already rota- rotating towards the bottom part of the map, so that's quite unfortunate. Anyway, that's just a support. I mean, uh, that's even better compared to having your farm later to die. Yeah, definitely. But also taking into consideration, we saw that um, AF was really much too deep into the enemy jungle of Team X. So there's this um, possibility that okay, you'll try to be uh, providing vision, but then again, would it be a possible? Uh, would it be a good trade if you're just providing vision yeah. against your own life? So maybe, uh, maybe uh, there is still um, some things that you need to be needing to improve coming from oh. the side of Team Mahadev. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen, a team fight has been engaged by here by Team X. But then again, they are really escaping. Rather, the jungle side of Team Hadawa and will be able to secure that blue belt. Oh, that's so true, but uh, so far looking okay. We could have seen some casualties Oops. in there coming from the side of Mahadewa, but so far so good. At least Mahadewa didn't give that kill, but so far, bottom oh. part of the map. Okay, yeah, really see, good. See Use a flash, it's okay, it's okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, you know, going to be going, uh, going to be having a tower dive for the side of Team X. But again, their discipline plays really plays a good role when it comes to decision making and of course executing all of their tactics around the map. But right now, of course, Team Hadewa is still trying to catch up, and of course, here in Team X, they have the 2K gold deal on their side. Mm-hmm, that is so true and that paid off from the early jungle steals that they did a while ago i mean it's not just on the top side it's on both sides of the map really mm-hmm. paid off and now actual i really get jumbled on this actuality in here <laughs> uh really need to catch up because as we can see right now aj zeke's in here is already on level seven he needs oh. to catch up, up one level but how the fuck oh, uh, hold that i'm here i 
Well, yeah, just reuse his ultimate just to, to provide additional support for his side of the team. But here, Team Don Hadewa trying to progress forward. But again, Team X will be still standing strong as no casualty can be seen from the side of both sides. But Team Hadewa's um, majority <laughs> will be having a low HP and needs to back away. Mm -hmm. They are capitalizing on the utilities onto this Dakyao. I'm loving it. But so mm -hmm. far, in terms of objectives, I think Team X is really right. doing great. And they, they had a, have the opportunity on getting this first tower of the game. Mm -hmm. And of course, that opportunity may have been like a um, other downfall coming from the side of Team Azewa. But again, they need to sustain their Oops. momentum earlier. And um, they need to, you know, Keep that balance when it comes to invasion. But here, speaking of balance, Team X uh -oh. is not balancing <laughs> it out for the side of Yamaha Dewa as they were able to secure one more kill for their side. That is so true, and this is looking good for the side of Team X. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty much being slow, but I think they need to capitalize on soon what the lead that they have right now. And really good rotation onto the bottom lane part of the map right now. Ooh. Let's see about that though. They, they're not stopping on, on stealing all the jungle camps of Mahadewa. Well, right now, taking into consideration, they need to really much give that low spike coming from the side of Team Mahadewa. That's why they need to secure those en uh, enemy jungles coming from the side of Team. So, me, uh, this gives them more gold and co possibly more visibility on where are the team members coming from the side of Team Mahadewa. But right now, this will be a, a possible engagement coming from the top side as all of the members are trying to position themselves in order to perform a gank. But I think that will be another inhibitor torrent coming from the side of Team X that will be secured. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The blue buff is being trying to be contested by here, by Team Hadewa. And all oh, of no, it has all been inhibited. Yet. Here we go, Shaw. Um, by the Lex will be going down. And that will be the downfall coming from the side of Team Hadewa. Mahadeva hasn't taken any towers away from Team X as of yet. It all really paid off. But I think now the question is, oh, again, Mayin Adol will fall down onto the hands of Zuyi. But anyway, so yeah, what can Mahadeva do on this one? I mean, Shangguan is a really good hero character to actually play on, go for an assassination. I mean, the Renji as well onto the late game. Mayin even really good tankiness. Uh, but it, it doesn't so happen. I mean, they lack the goal that they need, but they really need to actually create uh, the oh. time. But how the fuck? Oh, oh look at that no, that, well, that was a 1v1 situation coming from the side of um, Exority there. Though he showed great potential, but then again, the damage output is not enough. And that's why Exority was able to fall down to coming from that 1v1 situation. But right now, Team Hadewa are forming themselves in the middle lane and of course losing one in the turret coming from the side of the team. The Overlord is still available, but then again, our members coming from the side of Team X is really much pushing forward and wanting to secure and push back the members here from Team Hadewa coming from the high ground and just making that small space that doesn't um, give the opportunity for Team Hadewa to get forward. No one died yet on the, on to the side of Team X, but will, will this, this be? be the first one? Will this be? Will this be? Yes! No! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Actually, even Dragon, I was like looking at his HP bar. No, he hasn't fallen down as of yet as well. I think now Team X is uh, talking, you know, in, in their comms right now. Okay, whoever dies, he's going to pay off. Maybe he's going to treat off the team later on with some grab food uh, over there in the Philippines. <laughs> so no one can die. No one can die from now on. And I hope that we can also gra have some grab here in the in our <laughs> castle deck. But anyways, here we go. The team X was able to secure that Overlord, making them again an opportunity to summon those vanguards. But right now, the the world of Team Hadewa is starting to get a little bit of a cramp as they are having a hard time to really much in, uh, go inside their own jungle territory. We really need to see Mammon go online, so as it cow as so as the cow cow, because they need to create that setup. Uh, you know, the mm -hmm. setup for Fadel Exit to go. Uh, go for oh. the damage. But, there okay. we go. 
Venom from the knockoff damage coming from the side of Team X, but there we go. And the inhibitor turret will be falling down coming from the top side. This will be an all out situation coming from the side of Team Mahadeva. But they will just be the first oh, no! kill that they will get the yes! and that was secured by AM. Oh my god, you did, you did, you redeemed yourself, AM, from us in our eyes. But right now, the team fight still continues coming from the side of Team X. They are trying to secure that inhibitor turret coming from the big side. But there we go, the setup plays has been initiated. One man down coming from the side of Team Mahadeva. Once again, will be going down, and of course, Another inhibitor turn, so they make this makes them more vulnerable coming from the side of the vanguard. And right now, the second wave does not come in. And now we are seeing a 3v5 situation here happening in the bottom lane. Let's see if they try to defend it here as the vanguards are now entering. And of course, all of the team members come from the side of Team X. We have four seconds on the clock here for, coming from the Fatal X. Let's see on what place that they can try to pick up here as they won again. Team X will be getting that last in the turn. Will this be a good play coming from the side of Team X? All of the bankers are here to play and now entering into the high ground. And that's the two man down from the side of Team X. There was big that three and a clean wipe out from the side of Team X. And there we go. They win game number two. Okay, I was about to say, actually, the Toshino is gonna go order that food for the whole team. But we have yet to see <laughs> two that's actually onto the side of Team X. We'll see into the match results. But for the meantime, congratulations, Team X, winning a clean sweep of 2-0 score up against Mahadewa team from Indonesia. And again, every points matter because you need all these points to actually rank as the first or the second team from your group in order to move forward to the playoff stage. And uh, really, I think, you know what, from the strategy that the Team mm -hmm. X have pulled up on that one, what really paid off was all the jungle invades. Even though there's a jungle sprite, we do know that there are uh, there is less damage that uh, your team can do up against your jungle's opponent on the first four minutes of the game. But for them, first, uh, for as long as they at least there's one or two members, actually they went on a 2-3 uh, jungle invades onto the camps of Team Mahadewa, and that still paid off. So it doesn't matter if it will take long for as long as they disrupt the jungler mm -hmm. on the side of Mahadewa. Yes, and that's actually the point that we've been discussing earlier during the drafting phase. The jungler needs to be protected, the jungler needs to be fed, and the jungler needs to be taken care of. Oh, sounds familiar, yes, but that's not what on, what's on your mind right now, ladies and gentlemen. But again, yes, I certainly, certainly agree with you, Madam Kaisaya, as we are now seeing, coming from the side of Team X, the rotations exceptional, truly professional, as they say, and of course, it boils down on how how did we able to secure those inhibitor turns early on in the game? But in terms of the post-game itemization, as we are seeing here, that it, it's primarily focused on movement speed and mobility. But then again, there's a little bit of a damage outburst that we are seeing seeing here from the side of Team X. But for coming, if we're going to see here, coming from the side of Team Mad Mahadewa, is we are seeing a little bit of mm, struggle moments coming from the side of the Team um, that maybe that's primarily because um their jungler is being raided, not invaded, yeah. raided coming from the side of Team X. <laughs> It was a total obliteration because that created a lot of space for AGZ as well as even Migi to actually mm -hmm. roam around the map uh, and just go off for that kill set they very much needed. But then I think I am impressed as to how impressive actually played off the Dark Yao in here, uh, taking the communication, I mean, leading the communication in terms of where to go onto team fights. And again, this is like, uh, you know, just a player background. This I think this is really one of the advantage if you do know how to play both the jungle as well as the support because you do know where to actually assist your jungle and again really mobile composition for the side of team x um you know the pay as well as the sun care they could just like run around the map mm -hmm. anywhere plus add the teleportation skill coming from the dakyao as 